brother, 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 chill, chill, chill. What is the problem? Since two days now, you have not eaten, you have not talked to me, you have not done any work. Look at this man, Keke. This berry you say you want to go and buy. I don't know whether you buy it or not. Brother, what is the problem? Brother, tell me what is the problem and your brother. Anything that bothers you, bothers me also. I'm your brother now. What do you mean, you know? Almost be in a water, the animal. Or a book will batter again. Yeah? If this man comes here and I know how he normally shout, the man will start shouting, Where's my keke? You have not done my keke. Can you hear me? Brother, can you hear me? Kowalum, tell me what is the problem? This is so chill. It's too chill. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. What's up? I'm too much. I'm too much. <laughs> Nothing, you see what you're <laughs> saying? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, I've missed oh, you. Let me tell you something. As long as you're rolling with me mm -hmm. in this village, mm -hmm. forget about it. Uh -huh. There's money, there's a fresh dude to roll with. <laughs> uh, you can say that again. <laughs> Chinelo. You and Timothy, what are you to do? What do you want? My dear friend, what does it look like we are doing? Timothy is my man. Timothy no. is your what? Chinelo, after everything I told you Timothy did to me, you still went ahead and threw yourself at him. Uh, eh? Well, he may have done that to you, but to me, he's just the best. Hmm. Talking about what he did to you, I think you caused it because you rejected him when he had nothing. And just when you, you discovered that he now owns a car, you shamelessly jumped into his car. Really? Hey, madam, hold it there. Insult who? Look at you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You already insulted yourself. In fact, you're still insulting yourself. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. <laughs> Gold digger. Yeah. Shut up. I, I mean, the money you're owning her. I know she lent you some money to bail yourself. When are you giving her the money? Um, yes. Hey, Jaro. Talking about the money I used in bailing you that night. Honorary, please, can you give me my 30? 4,000 that I used in bailing you that night. I don't have the money yet. I'll, I'll give it to you when I have it. You can't have the money next tomorrow. Because I'll be needing it by then. You can sell some of your underwears or if they are need to <laughs> you know they are not need no, don't eat. <laughs> you get out of here mm -hmm. it's two days let's go Rubbish. no we should be jumping now because she came <laughs> Your Highness, should I serve your meal or no? Put over my son, Prince Donald. Have you caught him? Yes, Your Highness. But he's not replying. His only word was, go ahead. He said that to you? Yes, Your Highness. It's okay. Um, go and serve the King's meal. Don't worry about me. I'll call you when I meet you.
Tony. Sir. This one you're carrying bag this morning. What? Any problem? No, no problem at all, Papa. Papa, I'm only telling you this because you're a good man. I'm traveling to the city in search of Guna Pasture. Yes, I believe if I had enough money, I don't think I would have lost the love of my life to the prince. So, are you now running away? No, Papa. I'm only traveling to the city in search of greener pasture. I mean, that way I could better my life than I am currently. Listen, I appreciate the decision Ikechi took for our future. But that was a wake-up call for me to do something about my situation. So, I, I, I decided to travel. To me. I would have wished you married my daughter, Ikechi. But the way things turned out, In the spirit of our ancestors, grant you all your heart desires. It's, uh, thank you, Papa. You must be very careful because you know where you're coming from. I will, Papa. Since the prince gave a standing order not to allow you into this palace, we have never received an order to let you in. So I ask you again, why are you here? You again? You again? Now listen to me and listen to me clearly. By the time I become the queen of this palace, I will squeeze your future for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow should take care of itself. Tomorrow is full of surprises. So I ask you again, why are you here? Get out of my way. Don't dare me. Don't. It's okay. Don't worry. My lady. Sorry. You do not have the right to take her inside the palace. Only the queen, the prince, or the king himself have every right to. How dare you? What? How dare you speak? Get your hands off me. Don't try this next time, else I will not forgive you. Now, I ask you, why are you here? Are you going to leave or I force you myself to leave? She is going nowhere. She is going nowhere. Eh? Are you trying to challenge Donald's power in this palace? Is that what you're doing? Shut up! And you, Stella, have I not told you times without numbers that I don't want to see your, your, your filthy legs in this compound? My baby is in sorrow right now. I mean, he's in a sorrowful mood. He needs a shoulder to cry on. And this is my shoulder. That's why I'm here. You're such a fool. God. My friends. In the next 30 seconds, I want you to flog this thing out of this compound. And you come with me. You haven't seen the Idiot. You can use the gate. Don't talk to me anyhow. Your time starts now. Don't even talk to me anyhow. You don't want me to slap your face now. Don't even try it. I'll, I'll just forgive you today because I'm in a very good mood. Do you understand me? In a very good mood. Please. I'm waiting. Just be sure that I'll come back. I'm waiting. I would like to be left alone, please. You want to be left alone so that you die out of hunger and desperation? Isn't that what your dad wants? Isn't that what you want? Huh? 
my dad has refused to let me leave the palace. And in front of you, he humiliated me. What else do you want from me? My flesh? Son, I understand you very much. But I'm sorry I could not help you. Come downstairs and eat. I'll grant you passage outside the palace so that you go and see her. Are you serious about what you just said? I mean everything I just said. You need to see her make things right with her while I talk with your father on your behalf. Prisoner has not come out of this room ever since His Highness asked the girl to leave the palace. But, uh, why is he doing that? Because I don't understand why a whole Prince Donald would dump a beautiful, classy lady like Stella for that dirty Ikechi. Wait, what are you people even saying, sir? What are you, why are you people even gossiping into the Prince affair? Don't you know it was Ikechi that saved the Prince's life? Where was Stella when? The prince was dying of a, a, a kidney disease. Exactly. What Stella did was wrong. She claims to love him. Then why not make a sacrifice for the one she claims that she loves? Besides, those we claim to love are beautiful because we love them. I do not know why the king is bent on frustrating a Prince Donald. He should just let them be. That's my take on this matter. No one is saying she's not beautiful, but a beautiful heart is what that matters. Well, that take does not matter. We all know His Majesty is a man of his ways. Mm -hmm. yeah, go do. What is our business in this? Why are we discussing this? So it's now you've come to your senses, Abi. When you're proclosing into the prince's affairs, eh? Let's get on. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get him back together? Yes. I told you she's the only one that befits your brother, not that wretched girl. I do. Look, I know. Do you think I don't know? I do. But look, he do not insist on being with that girl. Father would never allow him to have his way. And that's my ch only chance of getting closer to the, to the throne. Are you, are you being serious right now? You, you had it all planned out and you didn't let me know? Yes. Look. I need that girl Stella to be far away from Donald. The far as she is from him, the closer I am to the throne. Well, I, I'm sorry for not seeing through your plan. I will make sure she stays very far from this place. I will make sure of that. Still, at least you know my plans now. Let me achieve it. Sure. <laughs> and I want to be the queen too. So what are you saying? <laughs> me the truth. What happened between you and the king? Why would he hate you so much? The prince says he loves you so much, right? Good. It's been two days since that incident happened at the palace. And yet he hasn't been here. That tells you a lot is going on. We're taking you for a ride. The prince asked his father to break the news to you because he knows that you won't be able to do anything. It's a setup. Are you very certain about this allegations that you have just made? You shouldn't be here. You think of me as such an ungrateful person that I would discard the one person who stood by me when it mattered the most? 
I love your daughter Inkechi very much. And it will take death to separate me from her. You shouldn't be coming here to see my daughter. Because I don't want your father to hurt her. I don't want your father to hurt her the way he did to me and the one I love years back. That is why I am here. I want you to tell me what transpired between you and my father. Why didn't you ask your wicked father to tell you himself? I have done that. I have pleaded with him several times to tell me what transpired between you two. But he would not budge. Was it? Please, because of the love I have for your daughter and how much she means to you, please tell me. Please. Papa, please tell us. Save us from this emotional torture. Please. My grace, will you come back here? Adora, what are you doing with this poor wretched fool? Why am I here waiting for you? You don't have to say that. And besides, I told you yesterday not to bother waiting for me, that I will be coming with my friend. Will you shut up? I am the prince. What right do you have to order me on what to do and what not to do? How many times have I told you? Eh? That I do not love you. I only love one man. It is Okafo. Not you, nor anyone else. Stay away from me. If you refuse me again, I'm going to slap him. My prince, can I ask you one question? Why are you doing all this thing? I mean, why do you hate me this much? You even know that I hate you so much. And you refuse to die or disappear. I am the prince. I should be the center of attraction. Not you. Academically, you are more brilliant than I am. You attract more friends than I do. And you are asking me, why do I hate you? All these are the reason why I detest you. But my prince, you know all these things are not my fault. They are your fault. They are your fault, Rainbow Rouser. Okay. Anyway. You see? I don't want to see you close to her again. Now get out of this place. Get out! You, will you come back here? Come back here, Adora! I'm not coming back! Adam. Is it okay? No. No. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Please! You know I love you. Get out of my sight! Just go with him. I'll come and see you later, okay? Okay? Come back here, you get out of my sight! 
Idiot! Why are you doing this to me? Why are you hurting me this much? You know how much I love you. Do you know you are the reason why I'm still in this village? So I can be close to you. So I can be seeing you every day. I don't know I'm the prince. Instead of you to follow me, you left me and go after that wretched, poor village church rat. How could you? That village poor church rat is the only one that I love. I know he is poor, yet I still love him. Why don't you understand? Eh? Please leave me alone. Do you hear me? This is am I the only maiden in this village? Please stay away from me. Adora, do you know you are hurting me with your words? Do you know how much I love you? Do you know I can do crazy things because of you? Adora, why are you doing this? Now, promise me you are going to come to the palace tomorrow to see me. Do you hear me? I am not coming. Adora, you know I love you. I saw that maidens, but I chose you. Why are you doing like this? Please. Please. I want you to come to the palace tomorrow, please. I have a special place for you. Please. Do you hear me? I such my thoughts. There are also different types of Look at you. Galevanting the whole village with my woman. The juniors that always come first in class. The teachers love you. The people love you. That I, the crown prince, become the second fidel. In case you don't know, let me tell you. That is an insult to my personality. That is an insult to my crown. And it's a very big insult to the entire throne of this kingdom. Prince Amaya, how is all this his fault? Eh? Why are you being unnecessarily jealous of his success? You already have all life has to offer. That is the problem. I have all that life has to offer. But I don't have you. I have all that life has to offer. Yet I don't have the fame he has. Now you, come and kiss me. No. And I said no. She will do no such thing. Prince Amaya or whatever you call yourself, I've taken enough of this, your rascality. The fact that you're a prince does not give you the right to step on every toe. Enough is enough. How dare you? How dare you point at me, Prince Amaya? What Take will you do? Time to end it all. I'm not afraid of you. He killed the woman that I love out of envy. Are you sure what you just narrated to me now is the reason my father hates you this much? You can go and ask him. Ask him what happened to Adora and watch his reaction. And if he says I'm lying, then I come back, I will take you to some people that knew about the incident.
Papa. So sorry. Sorry. I, I owe you apologies too. I know I have not been the father that you actually deserve. But now that I have let out all that had been hidden in my heart, I feel relieved. Come down to take my son from me. No. Never. Never. I don't even know this man or what he stole from you that you're using against our son despite his near death experience. Yes, you don't know. You don't know it. But Oka from Bade knows it. If he doesn't take time, I'm going to. Take that his daughter away from him. So it is true. It is true that because of your envious nature, you murdered a young maiden named Adora. You thought I would never find out when you mentioned the man's name? You thought I wouldn't find out? That innocent man, you should be emulating him. But rather, you hate him. You hate him because he is smarter than you. You hate him because he is better looking than you are. You hate him because Adora loved him instead of you. I hated him and I still hate him. I hated him because of all that and more. I was the crown prince I should command all the good things, not that, that son of a goat, son of a nobody, son of a slave. Tali, what are you talking about? Mother, ask him why he murdered a young maiden named Adora, who he was in love with, but she was in love with another. She loved Nkechi's father, Okafor to be precise. My husband, is this true? Don't ever ask me that kind of question, father, again. Whether you like it or not, I am going to marry Nkechi. And not you or anyone else in this kingdom can stop me. You take one more step out of this place. I bet I will do the unthinkable for you. <laughs> you think that scares me? Right? Do whatever you want to do. What is the most that can happen? You will disown me. Well, I'm going to make it very easy for you. I do not want anything to do with this throne anymore. I am out of this place. Donald, please don't do that. Please, Donald! 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 Now that he's gone, what next? We wait. Father is going to call a council meeting to make a declaration to declare him as his successor. 
if he does that, then my dreams will be fulfilled. He will. Definitely. I mean, for the fact that he allowed Donald to leave. He will make you his successor. <laughs> mm. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what does that mean? To be blind. <laughs> Coming to light. <laughs> You shouldn't have left the palace. Haven't denounced your birthright the way you did. Your future lies there in the palace. I know. But what my father did is unacceptable. No. I'm leaving this kingdom to a faraway place where I would make money for my own self. My prince, I know you a lot better than your father. But, but that doesn't mean you should abandon your home and your family. I have come to realize that my life will not make any tangible meaning if your daughter and Kichi is not in it. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Uncle Richie, my love, all I ask is, is that you wait for me for just a few months. And I promise that when I get back, I will make you very proud. My prince, I have seen that your mind is made up. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, there is nothing anyone can do about it than to say, take good care of yourself. I will. Oh? Thank you very much, Mama. It's well with you. I do appreciate it. Oh, sweetheart. I would like to have a private conversation with you. I don't know if you'd be free to come with me. Your Majesty, you must bring back my son. Should anything happen to my son, this palace will not contain us. Prudent. Why are you making this look like if I'm the reason your son left the palace. Look, have you paused to think about the possibility that that daughter of Rukavon Bayade actually bewitched your son so much so that he has to Choose her over the palace. Choose the slum. Choose poverty. Choose nothingness over royalty. Have you thought about that? You're here blaming me. Yes. He wants to prove he's a... Uh, he's stubborn. You know? He has a lot of resolve. That's it. Who does he resemble? Have you ever bent on anything? Well, that's because it's a trait of character required as a king. Yes, I have to be strong in character. I have to look very well take decisions and not to falter. That's for your son. Let him go off. How much else I go, man? 
let's see who who uh, who stay with with what. Yes, the dog of the frog. Uh, what? Well, in as much as I don't agree with that decision to disown him, Donald was wrong. The king would never mislead him. And for him to bluntly reject the king's instruction, that is a slap to his face. That is open rebellion. And it shouldn't be so. Go on, you're Morgan. Don't mind her. Maybe it's because I, I didn't actually do what I was supposed to do. Take this matter high. Because this is treason. In fact, treasonable felony. Yes. Opposite bunny bunny. Listen, woman. I want you to know that right now your son is irretrievably lost to me. Period. I love you. You are my life. Give my life a meaning. Friends deserted me. Family deserted me. But you came along. Give my life a meaning. I will forever be grateful to you. You keep saying this exact thing since you recovered. But truth is. I already started having feelings for you before I decided to give you my kidney. Though I didn't know you so well, but watching you fight for your life was really inspiring. I love you too. Would you go? Do you have anybody to go to? Why don't you just go back to the palace and ask your father for forgiveness? Please don't even go there. Don't go there, please. I will not return to the palace. Listen to me. I know you're worried sick about me. But I want you to understand something. I'm not a dumb prince. Okay? I made moves. I have friends in faraway cities who owe me. And they're willing to do anything right now for me. I understand, but... Still worry. Sweetheart, you don't have to be worried, okay? I'm 
doing this for us and shaping in my destiny for us. All I ask is that you remain patient with me. Just a few months. That's all I ask. And then when I get back, I promise I will make you proud. Okay. No, Mama. He will leave by morning. Uh -huh. I don't know. I feel so guilty. Like I'm the one making him lose everything. No, my daughter. You shouldn't feel that way. Actually, you are the reason why he is alive today. You should be proud of yourself. It only takes bravery to do what you did. Yes. You are not supposed to feel that way. Come, my daughter. Let's go and eat. Hey, Nubo. Save yourself the greetings. Where is my son, Prince Donald? He's not here, Your Highness. Are you saying you've not seen my son since yesterday? Well, he was here yesterday to tell me that he'd be traveling in search of greener pasture. I tried convincing him to come back to the palace, but he refused. Wait, are you saying that my son did not spend the night here? Yes, Your Highness. He left immediately. This place he's traveling to, he didn't mention it. I mean, he did say exactly where he was traveling to. Yes. Let's go. Forgive me, Your Highness. I was supposed to search the whole place to know what if what they are telling me was the truth. I know my son Donald very well. There is no way he would have spent a night in that place. Because he will know I will come looking for him. I suspect he must have gone far away where I cannot find him. It's okay. Elders, I welcome you. Our elders say that when a child suckling the mother's breast bites the mother's nipple, maybe by accident, the child looks at the mother's face. If the mother does not give a sign of reproach. The child smiles, balances, and then bites the nipple again and again.
Elders, my first son, Donald, Nyolomonsinisi. He defied my instructions. He gave me an open challenge, unapologetically. So I hereby announce that I, King Amaya the First, Lion of the Forest, and King of a Butu Kingdom, I hereby strip Donald of all titles he's holding. He is no longer the crown prince of Ebutu kingdom. In his place, I am appointing my second son here, Obinna, as the new crown prince and heir apparent to the throne of my fathers. I have spoken. Thank you, Father. You will live long, Father. And I promise to follow the path you have led for us. Igui. Congratulations, my son. Thank you, Onogu. See, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty, if I may ask, what are the offenses committed by your son, Prince Donald, that made you strip him off all his titles? Oh, no, Your Majesty. I am not at liberty to go back to that unsavory event. That is a family matter and is a closed chapter. Your Majesty. Hello, Amo. I believe your son and I have an unfinished business. Tell him I'm coming to collect the two million naira that was paid to him to donate his infected kidney to my brother. But my prince, his majesty has pardoned him and asked him to keep the money. <laughs> huh? The king only did that because Donald was his favorite son then. Fortunately, I am. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Tell your son to be ready for me. I am coming to collect my money. Timothy. Timothy. Hey. This is the beginning of your mini wins. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, hey, don't forget your mushroom my plans. Well, that was when I didn't know the bigger plan. Can't you see that I have gotten off ever since then? You did the right thing. Now let's reward this land. Okay. <laughs> first done out, first done out. He never knew the level of power I held. Making him lose it to a woman. <laughs> She's a fool. I mean, I'm you. Hey! It's my brother. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am super excited for you, baby.
Thank God you are here today. Papa, this one you are thanking God. What is the problem? There is no problem. Just to let you know that Prince Obina has been named the king's successor. He's coming here for the money they paid you. He's coming? Yes. He's coming here for the money they paid you. You know, Obina is not like his brother Donald. Mm. He doesn't laugh. And he doesn't forget issues. So get ready for him. Okay. Papa? Eh? Don't worry yourself about this. I've told you before. Mm -hmm. You will give yourself high blood pressure. I will not. Papa, stop worrying yourself about the money the royal family paid me. It is me they paid to, not you. I'm talking about Prince Obina. Uh, Papa, he will not do me anything. Uh, yes, Prince Obina will not do me anything. Let him come for the money now. I'm waiting. I have gathered a lot of friends so, with that money. Okay. Yeah, I've leveled up, oh, Papa. All right, man. But let me remind you, when a woman runs, Without tying her wrapper well, the wind will help her tie the wrapper well. Don't allow the wind <laughs> to help you tie a wrapper. Uh, Obina is here. Papa. He's coming here. <laughs> Papa, it depends on the kind of wind. Uh, it's, it's not every, every wind that ties wrapper. Uh, you will know the type of wind that will help you tie a wrapper. Papa, stop worrying yourself. I'm not worrying myself, but I just want to tell you what is going to happen to you. Papa, nothing will happen to me. Don't say I did not tell you. I am your father. When the wind comes, you will know. Papa, rest your just rest yourself. I'm resting myself. Please so be now. As in you intimidate me or what? Timothy, I go man to Lanti Ano. Everybody this is Lanti Awe. My prince. Good day, my prince. Good day, my prince. Keep your salutations to yourself. I'm sure one of your father passed a message to you. My prince, in that regard, I had discussions with my father, and I don't appreciate the way you go about threatening him about the money. I've made it clear that Timo don't refund money. I mean, it's not my fault that the kidney didn't match. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. I see you are bent on not refunding the money you scammed the king, my father. Call it whatever you may, my prince. But I've made it clear that I would not refund that money. You see, I am not intimidated by your threats, nor your guard. So I will appreciate it if you take your car out of the way so I can take my sweetheart to a cool point where we can chill out. Babe, Papi. Yeah. Uh, I just want to let you know that I don't send boys to do the job of men. I do it myself. My friends, be cool. Hey. My friend. My prince. Come on. It hasn't gone into this. Come on. Give me the key. Enjoy it to me, my friend. My friend, this. Do you know what this is? This is a life ammunition. Do you know what this is? Stainless steel. What you know? Eh? One bullet. Go ahead and scatter. My prince, don't play with this. Now take this off. Take what off? Don't use it. Come on, take this off. Are you stupid? You want to eat two million naira? Does your father have two million naira? No. No, they bastard. Come on. Take, take, take over everything. If I blow off your brains. You want to go and you, you want to you want to go with your your, with your girl. You, have, you lack manners. My prince, I you would are... take one more word. I will blow your head. Take this off. Now I'll drop you here. And hey, stay here. Um, where's that? Where's that? You eat your, your cucumber. Where's that? Where's that? Food? 